So today we're talking about the mobility in the hips and how to keep that area flexible. We're doing a lot of sitting, we're doing a lot of walking, and yet we're not doing a lot of keeping it mobile. Sometimes people wake up and they're like, oh, my hips, or you get off of a plane or off of a long car ride and you're like, oh, this does not feel good. So we wanna make sure it's mobile, that joint is mobile. So you're gonna go against the wall, you're gonna hold on, we're gonna do a range of motion in the leg that's uh, facing you, and I'm gonna, in my outside leg, I'm gonna lift it up as high as I can and put it down. Now, a lot of times we don't lift that high enough. All right, up and down. That's the first part of my exercise. Up, I'm gonna turn towards you, and up and down. Try to do this in front of a mirror, all right, so there's no shifting. I'm nice and stable in through my torso. Up, if you need to hold on something, you can have a chair. Up, you're gonna do 10 of these just at that hip line. Other side, up and down. Use those abdominals. You're gonna be working the lower belly and that hip flexor, but mostly that hip flexor. Up and up. Let's go back to that first side. Up and up. We're gonna go side to side. Up, as high as you can. Higher, good higher because especially when people think they're lifting it high enough let's go a little bit higher and up keep that body really straight up and up and rest so that's all i want you to do to start just start that lift of the leg 10 times 10 times 10 times 10 times and then alternate you can alternate for 10 or 20. you're going to feel that right here in the hip flexor and in other videos, we're gonna do other exercises to go along with this. But I'm telling you, let's start small with the hip flexors, and when you do that, your body will thank you.